Brother, tell us your name, where you are from, and your wonderful testimony. My name is Pavo Elawo, I'm from Ongodiba. And I'm here to give my testimony and to put the devil to shame. Uh, on the 7th of October, I came here with an issue of excessive drinking, smoking, and anger, anger issues. Yes, uh, I started drinking at the, the year 20, 2011. I just started off as a casual drinking, but then later it became worse when I went to the University of Namibia in Windu. So when I went to the University of Namibia, I met friends and the freedom became too much and the drinking became worse. One, one thing led to another. So I met up with my peers and we always drink around the clubs of Hindu. To a point where I was unable to complete my studies due to the excessive training. So uh, I had to drop out because the uh, NASFAF, the, the, the government loan, couldn't fund me anymore. I started applying for jobs, I got a job as a branch manager. So <laughs> the money was too much as well for me to handle, so the training became even worse again. To a point where we used to travel out just for chilling, as we call chilling, Swako, Swako, Boavers and all other places. It came to a point where alcohol just became my priority. I wouldn't buy anything important, it's just concentrating on alcohol and getting drunk and always staying drunk. And that excessive drinking led to smoking. Cigarette smoking and then partly uh, marijuana. And that Okay, like I said, one thing led to another from the smoking now in the you know as a branch manager, you have a lot of money now coming in, it's now the chills. So it, it resulted in me having multiple women to a point where I can actually date 10, 20, 20 women at a time. Okay, uh, then I had to uh, I lost the bridge manager job. I, I got another job as an internal sales clerk at Torres Maintenance. And the So again the alcohol didn't stop and the chilling didn't stop. 
Ainsi que Natango, Okuyaya, Nokuno Makaya, Nokuno Malodu, Natawina Okuyako. To a point again where it made me lose this job again, due to the fact that I will come with him over to work with a breath of alcohol in him. Okay, so I decided to, to, to repent. Because this life was busy tormenting me when I find myself alone and then I wonder, is this how I'm going to continue living? So I repented. That was 20, 2019. And the fact that I was used to luxurious life, I ended up backsliding. And the alcohol, the smoking, and the women started again. And then uh, I remember this year on the 7th of October, I, I decided, like, no, I. Have another just to take you back. Besides uh, repenting, where else did you go in seek a solution? Oh, okay. Yes, uh, my mom was always in tears, uh, seeing his son not being progressive. Uh, and she will always remind me, do you remember that you used to write grade 10s, 42s, and the 40s? You never wrote, you never wrote 40 below. Yes. And she was forever in tears and then whenever she sees she sees me coming home drunk, she wouldn't say anything. Sometimes she would just go into a room and start crying. And as you know, a mother's pain when looking at his son in, su in such a state, she will go to any extent. So she decided to take me to several witch doctors. So she took me to two witch doctors to get rid of the alcohol, the women and the smoking. So when I came back, no help. No, we didn't help anything. The the alcohol continued. So due to the fact that I know the word of God, I always prayed, even during my consumptions of alcohol and all these things, I used to pray at the end of the night always, and I always read the Bible. So I decided like no, uh, I will I will sometimes find myself on YouTube just searching for for biblical teachings. So that's when I came across uh, this con church. I've been I've been hesitant for a little while. Uh, and then one day I took a step like no, like that was the sixth of uh, October. Uh, that was a Friday, and then I decided like tomorrow I will have to uh, to turn up at that church. I couldn't sleep because I was tired, so I stayed up all night awake. 
kakwe ni duru kukofa chacho kuinde shiroro kila nengo nonda kari kufi kwa kushini kofa so that morning I told my mom maybe I'm I'm going to to see Apostle Shonde ongura yo nda pendu kane ilombo ene meme kucha meme ohanti kwa shiro nga tumosha Apostle Shonde so on our way on our way to Apostle Shonde I had the mixed emotions mbonjila neyo kuya onda indina mari ideli abaji so there was a set that was telling me that no, you can wash your teeth, like you are going to waste your time there and you become a laughing stock among your friends. And then on this side is the pain that I go through, like I don't, I, I never, let me say, the financial indiscipline. And then that I, I, I first sat down. On the way I stopped at a, at a, at a certain drinking place. I wanted to drink a uh, black label, <laughs> but then there was no finance for black label, so I, uh, uh, instead I bought a cigarette. So I finally left to go to Jombe. I need to see him. So I arrived here, and then when it was my time to see him, uh, he looked at me and smiled and he said, Oish, you are doing too much. <laughs> my brother, just to take you back, did he tell you or he prophesied to you? He prophesied. Yes, so viewers all over the world, what you are about to see on your screen is the encounter of our brother, the man of God, Apostle S.S. Shombe. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, brother, tell us after that encounter what happened next. We are so interested to hear. Uh, on our way on our way back. I decided like no, let me put myself to a test. On that shot. So on the way, uh, I found uh, a guy uh, smoking a cigarette. So I decided, let me just go walk past him. Let me see if that smoke can have any effect on me. I walk past, and when the smell hit me, I was disgusted. So since that day, I haven't touched a cigarette or a sip of alcohol, and I cut off all the women that I had. Wow. Hallelujah! Put your hands louder for Jesus! Hallelujah. What are the changes that we've seen in your life 
after you were now given up alcohol and smoking. I got uh, financial discipline now and uh, uh, behavioral, be, uh, in, I mean, social behavior is, let me say it's on point. Yeah. <laughs> And it actually brought peace into our house now. You will find me and my mom making jokes and laughing. That's Brother, what are your words of encouragement to those that was are suffering from what you were also going through. Okay, my words of encouragement is peers. Uh, money is materialistic. Money is materialistic, but salvation, that's something eternal. And So God never gave up on anyone on this earth. So he's always with you. He's just waiting for you to turn to him and he will wrap his arms around you. Hallelujah. Can you hear that? Yes. He is ready to wrap his arms around you. Are you willing? Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Our words of encouragement to you. Who the Lord Jesus Christ sets free. Oh, when Jesus Christ is is free indeed. Your testimony is permanent. Make the word of God the standard of your life. Meditate and act on it day and night.